Hello everyone, so tonight I just wanted to do a quick review on a new company that I've recently discovered um, called Seraph. It's um, homemade bath products and um, I just wanted to share them with you. So I was going to do a true unboxing of these products, but um, unfortunately when my box came, there was this large... <laughs> like oil spilling on the box, which made the box smell really good, but um, I was afraid that maybe the product had spilled all over the inside of the box or whatever, so I ended up opening it first to just make sure it was all intact. So luckily everything was totally fine. Um, the outside of like this packaging and this packaging was a little dirty, but other than that, we're, we're good. I think what happened was that the mask just leaked a tiny little bit, so but it turned out great. So anyways, the first thing is I thought it was super cute, this card. I think the logo is adorable. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but can you see the tiny little bluebird <laughs> sitting in the tree? But anyways, um, so I thought it was cute. She uh, took the time to write a hand note and she even spelled my name right. So nice job there. Anyways, um, and basically, um, oh, let's get my camera to focus here. Okay, basically I bought these two items here. And um, the first one is a reawakened um, velvet charcoal mask. So I mean, that doesn't sound delish. <laughs> and anyways, it's in like a screw top, so I can't really open that one handed right now. But the other thing I got was a peppermint tea bubble bar. And this, I have to tell you guys, smells so, so good. It's probably the strongest smelling thing in the box, but it just smells so good, and I like that it feels so squishy. I don't know, I'm weird like that. Anyways, um, but I cannot wait to use this. I'm not sure if I should use the whole bar. I think I'm going to try to cut it up and use it a couple times, but what I'm going to do is film reviews of these products after I've used them, so I'll probably do a little video later, and we'll edit this all together. But anyways, um, and then she sent a apricot milk soap sample which I haven't used this yet and I didn't really smell it because the outside of the packaging smells pretty much like the mask <laughs> from the oil leakage but it's just this cute little looks like a pizza slice <laughs> anyways and it it smells so good oh my gosh mm, it might be like my new favorite scent it's so wow it's really really fresh kind of sweet but like I don't know it's it this is really really good anyways um I might have to order some of that <laughs> anyways so here's just an overview of the products like I said I will film um reviews after I've used them hey guys so um tonight while I'm getting things ready for work in the morning I'm going to go ahead and try out my Seraph reawakened charcoal mask um but before I do that obviously I have to wash off my makeup for the day so I'm going to be using my green tea makeup remover towels and then the Pacifica Sea Foam Complete Face Wash just to get everything off. So I'm going to do that really quick. Okay. I'm going to need to water a little, little bit more. I just got that Pacifica wash um, today, actually, and it smells really, really good, but I feel like it leaves my face kind of sticky. I don't know. I'll keep using it. We'll see. All right. So here's what it looks like opened. You guys can kind of see that without me spilling it. And I'm going to kind of mix it up here. This is kind of what it looks like as I'm... Mixing it. I wish I had one of those little like mask stir thingies. But I don't, so I'm not sure how much to use for my whole face. So we're gonna start out with a smaller amount, I guess, and then move to bigger. 
It smells delicious though. Like, I feel like there's some mint in this too. I like the gritty feeling. It's got a very gritty texture to it. And then basically what I'm going to do is just leave this on for a few minutes while I get some stuff ready for the morning. And then I'll put you guys back on camera once it's kind of had a few minutes to dry and when I'm ready to wash it off. So here's what it looks like. It smells delish. Hmm. Okay. Guys, I'm back. Um, so basically, I've had this on for about 16 minutes while I was doing stuff. Anyways, um, here's what it looks like. The nice thing about this is that a lot of times I feel like, especially with charcoal masks, they get so dry on my skin so quick that it's like really taut. And it kind of actually like hurts my skin. Like if I move or whatever, you know, my face, it kind of hurts. Where this didn't do that. I mean, I can feel that it's dry and hardened but it, it's not hurting me it's not comfortable I don't know but then again maybe I'm just sensitive to stuff like that so but I like that this doesn't do that for me um so now I'm gonna try to wash it off I love all the little beads in it because it's really exfoliating on my skin and I tend to really need a lot of exfoliation because I have really big pores and I tend to get a lot of um, blackheads and such, especially in my forehead area and along my nose. So I think this will be great for that. It's feeling very silky as it's coming off too. Once the, like the, I guess the little beads or whatever, <laughs> the exfoliating beads are out. Um, my skin feels really soft and silky and I can kind of feel like the essential oils that are in it. I feel like washing your face and using skincare is never as pretty as they make it look in the commercial. <laughs> but I gotta say, my skin feels really nice right now. Like I like how smooth it feels. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously you guys can't feel <laughs> my skin, but it does feel extremely soft right now. And I just feel, I don't know, refreshed. <laughs> so I like it a lot. And I, I gotta say, I can't get over the smell. It just, it smells so, so good. So yeah, I mean, the only con I think is that it's a little messy when you're trying to mix it up. But other than that, I really like it. And I feel like this is a huge amount of mask and it's gonna take me a long time <laughs> to use it up. I mean, I, I, I would say I would get a lot, a lot of masks out of this because I didn't even really use that much. So I think this is definitely a pro for me. I think I will definitely continue to use it. So next thing I'll probably show you guys is the peppermint tea um, bubble bar. So, hi guys. Um, hopefully you all can hear me okay, but basically I'm going to take a bath tonight and I thought I would show you. I basically just cut my bubble bar up into thirds. This is the peppermint tea bar. It smells so, so good. And I'm just going to stick it in the bath. And I also just wanted to show you all how much bubbles it makes. So, We'll see. Okay, so this is how many bubbles I got from just one third of my peppermint tea bubble bar. It also turned the water kind of pink, which I think is sort of nice and luxurious. But um, can you guys hear the sizzling, the popping? <laughs> they love that sound. Anyways, I'm going to take my bath and I will let you guys know what I think. Hey guys, so I just got done using my Seraph uh, bubble bar in peppermint and I loved my bath. It was so relaxing, it smelled good, it turned the water kind of pink. Um, I was pretty stingy and I only used a third of the bar. I think next time I'll probably only split them into halves 
Um, cause after a while the bubbles kind of dissipate, but I still enjoyed it. I can still feel it on my skin. I feel really silky smooth and soft and the smell is, oh, it just, it smells so great and it was so relaxing. It was just that extra bit of calm and I, I did it right before bed. So I feel like it was just the perfect way to end my evening and get myself ready for bed. So Seraph gets a 10 out of 10 from me. I love it. I actually just placed another order and I'll actually probably be putting one item from that order into a giveaway. Maybe we'll see. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. See you next time. Bye. Just a side note, I had contacted Chanel, who's the owner of Surf, about how my box had come, and she was so mortified. She offered me a coupon code for my next order, and also just wanted everyone to know it's not normally like that, um, but she has amazing customer service. I'm going to put her link and all that in the description box below. See you next time.